Hello, Solo Sue Travels here, and I am going to be taking a proctored test for COVID using one of the government COVID tests that they sent us for free. Um, there's a proctoring service called On Point, and theoretically, this means that you can use these free tests with the proctoring service to go on uh, cruise ships and that sort of thing, as long as they have the requisite information from the lab that, uh, that does the proctoring. And so that is the plan. We'll see how it goes. Now, they give you a Zoom link once you register, and uh, they actually send you a calendar invite as well. And so you can see here that this is my Zoom link, and it is going to be at... 11 o'clock my time, and that's about eight minutes away. So in just a little bit, I'm going to start the Zoom call, and we will see how this is done. There is a fair amount of setup that needs to be done beforehand, and I will show you that, but this will get us started. This is the website for on-point testing, and the telemed option is what you want. So you choose the teleservice option, and it shows you the regular price of $29 and right now of course there is a $14.99 charge for it which is much more reasonable. I don't know if it's going to continue or for how long. If you haven't already purchased a test you can also purchase a test from them or you can get it from Amazon or you can get it from the government. It's up to you. So I'm going on a Royal Caribbean cruise and that's what I'm testing this with and I wanted to take a quick peek at what was actually required for them to accept tests. And the first thing is it has to be supervised by a professional, of course. And the other thing is the results requirements are here. And that's the most important thing when you're choosing a proctor. It has to have the lab information on the results. And then of course, it may be different for sailing in Europe and Israel, but take a look at that if that affects you. And just make sure, and regardless of what cruise line you are working with, that the test results are going to meet their requirements. An important consideration, of course, is making sure you get your test results in time. So you want to make sure you test within the window they require, but not so close that you're going to risk not getting your results in time. So you have to order the proctoring service. You basically add it to your cart, and it takes you to your basic checkout. And uh, you can go ahead and pay for it and all that fun stuff. Put in your billing details and your, your credit card, and you're good to go. You can also register for an account with them. Basically, you put in email address and give it a password, and you can put in all your other information. Once you finish paying for your service, you're brought to this screen so that you can choose when you want to have your actual appointment. You can see they have 24-7 coverage now, and there was no problem getting an appointment when I wanted to. I chose to do it the next day so that I would have time to do the registration and all that fun stuff. One nice thing to note, you know how these kits come with two tests in them? you can actually schedule up to four people in the same appointment. And so that's why it's asking how many tests. You will need that order number, which is on that booking email they sent you. And you can see, it's hard to see on this, but yeah, it's right there. You can just select it and copy paste. And that's it. You're scheduled and you should get an email confirming it along with your Zoom information after this. You can see here it gives you the virtual room number you're assigned, which will also be on the invite they send you. That invite also has this link which will take you to their website and let you register in their patient portal. One of the ways you get your results is in here. Office employer code it's asking for is the site code that's in your calendar entry. So you can just copy it from here and paste it in there. have a fairly lengthy disclaimer which you can read at your leisure and you will have to accept it to be able to move forward with the patient portal. It's interesting that they stress that you need to actually use real information and 
you fill all this in, of course, and uh, go to the next screen. I did not provide my information. I chose uninsured, and then I uploaded my driver's license. A little bit later, they sent me this text. It includes my confirmation number, which I forgot about when I was doing the actual test. Hello. Just a second. Let me make sure it's using the right microphone and such. Okay. Hi, Susan, right? Hello. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. My name is Laura and I'm going to be helping you take your COVID test, okay? Okay. Okay, Susan. Uh, can you please provide me your confirmation number? Oh, um, that would be in the email, I'm assuming. Uh, in your email. Yeah, just a second, let me you get sent it. by Health Track. Um <laughs> sent by Health Track. I have their patient registration confirmation, is yeah. that it? Okay. Okay. Five eight A eight A eight four nine. Okay. Five eight A is an apple number eight. A is an apple, number eight again. <laughs> okay. Four nine. Four nine. Okay, Susan, can you please show me the box you're performing today? Sure, one second. Um, let me get back to the Zoom call so I can see. Here we go. Um, this one. Oh, upside I... down. <laughs> okay. Um, can you please start taking all the things out of the box? Let's start performing it. Yeah, let me see if I can't open it first. There we go. Okay, Susan, is your date of birth? Yes. Okay. Okay. okay you, I only need one of finish. each. <laughs> uh, is someone else taking the test, or is no? This just has two in it. That's all. These these have two in them. Yeah. Okay, so that can go over there. And you need you need to probably see it. So we've got the instructions. We've got the um, the tube and the nasal swab. And right? then the swab. Yeah. Okay. Let's start opening the tube. Oh. The Do you see there's a solution? Yeah. There's a solution, yeah. Okay, you're gonna dispense the whole content of the solution inside the tube, okay? No, it's it's already in there. Oh, okay, it's already in there, that's great. This may be an older one. <laughs> if they've changed that, yeah. <laughs> okay, now you're gonna open the nasal swab, please. Okay. Did you need to see my um, ID? No, don't. Okay. Okay, so there's the swab. Let me take out the, um, the test thing. Yeah, you can do it. There we go. Yep. Now you're going to insert it in your both nostrils for four times in rotations, okay? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, that's correct. Now you're going to insert it into the tube, inside the tube. Let's open it. It doesn't want to open, of course. There we go. And there. Now you're going to swirl it ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And okay, now you're going to take out the swab. You're going to put the cap on again. On the tube. Okay. Now, you're going to place three drops of that liquid. You're going to open that little cap. We're going to place three drops of that liquid on the test script, okay? Okay, so it's... One, two, three. Okay, now we're just going to wait for results, okay, Susan? Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, are you taking this test for traveling purposes? Yes. Okay, you're taking a cruise, you're going on a plane, or Taking something? a cruise, yes. That's great. Uh, can you please tell me where are you right now, like the state and the city? California. Is it um, 11.05? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. okay, just let me know as soon as you get any result. If you see a line on the C, it means you're negative. If you get a line on the C and one line on the T, it means you're positive, okay? Mm hmm It's working its way over. <laughs> Okay. 
Looks like we have a result on the C, but nothing on the T. Okay, let's wait like two more minutes, just to make sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's enough time. Can you please show it to me in front of the camera for me to take an explanation? Okay, it means you're negative. Okay, Susan? Mm -hmm. uh, let me confirm here with you your email. Is S U E at solosutravels.com. That's right. Okay. Thank you so much, Susan. I really hope you enjoy your cruise and have a really nice rest of the day, okay? Thanks. Uh, they're going to be sending you results like in an hour. Is that okay for you? That's fine. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. -bye. Be safe. They sent me a text message with a link that took me to their patient portal and I was able to go in and see my results from there. If you remember what Royal Caribbean required for the test to be accepted, it included things like the laboratory's name, their CLIA number, their address, the collection date and time, and your results in the type of test. So this has all of these on here. The email later that had an attachment has everything except the actual CLIA number on it, which means that you probably need both of these, or at least the first one I showed you, to be able to have the cruise line accept it. I found it very strange that they didn't include their CLIA number on this document. So that's the end of the video with this uh, proctoring service. I did actually see a video from, I believe it was JJ Cruz, if you're familiar with that channel, where they had a problem with the scheduling of their appointment. They scheduled it and then while they were asleep, they got an email from the company rescheduling it to an earlier time and so they missed their appointment and they were not able to get, at least as of uh, the recording right now, they weren't able to get a refund. And so it's really important First of all, to make sure that you do not schedule this so close to when you're going to travel that you have no recourse if there is a problem. I'm going to do the Binax test as well, just as a backup plan, because I just want to make sure, you know, I'm going to present the results that the proctoring service gave me and if for some reason Royal Caribbean does not accept it, I will have the Binax proctored exams results also sort of as plan B. That is my plan. I will let you know. I will update this video after the cruise and let you know whether or not there was any problem with using this test and the proctoring service. So Losu signing out.